a European Commission spokeswoman insisted Brussels has a voice and the EU condemns in the strongest terms the use of chemical weapons. EU members France and the United Kingdom are preparing to respond to the Syrian gas attack in order to uphold a global ban on the use of such weapons. In three separate phone calls, Theresa May, Emmanuel Macron and Donald Trump all agreed that the international community should work together to make sure Bashar al-Assad's regime is held to account over the attack. The attack killed at least 60 people and injured more than 1,000 others. Giddy Syria News European Union remain quiet as France and UK prepare for war in my view, everything has to wait until Monday European Commission spokeswoman report suggested more than 500 people, mostly women and children, were taken to medical centers with breathing difficulties, foaming at the mouth and burning sensations in the eyes, while the Commission reiterates the need for accountability in Syria for all war crimes committed in particular the use of chemical weapons, its spokeswoman refused to comment on whether Brussels would support military action, Majika Sajinsik, the Commission's foreign affairs spokeswoman, refused to suggest her previous condemnation extended to support for military in Syria, when pressed on Britain and France's support for military action, Emska Sajinsik replied, in my view, everything has to wait until Monday. We are in contact with our member states, given the developments and the upcoming council. She said the chemical attacks and military action will be on the agenda at the next Foreign Affairs Council meeting, which is due to take place on Monday. However, the meeting could be too late as President Macron has announced he has proof that chemical weapons were used by the Syrian government. He said he would decide on what action to take once all the information has been verified. The U.K.'s submarines have moved within striking range of Syria as Prime Minister Mrs. May ponders over her own response.